till the Asata. Who started this party? Not with money, not with corruption, not with anything except the love for his people. It makes a difference. Each time we go, can change everything. husband's life. The time the father was quite very sick, I was always going to pray with the family there. It was an intimate moment to see Lasaka in that very, very profound moment. A man who had power. A man who spoke with so much vigor and was just there lying. But his spirit was very alive. So as we're going upstairs to see him in his private quarters, Mama I was showing him a very beautiful picture. Says, "Oh, my father, he picture he, Nisata, Alexa, dressed up and took my dear to. I don't know if you have seen that picture. It's a special picture. I think it's in the initial stages of the PF campaign. Ali took my dear to Alexa Rari, and they took this beautiful picture." I think it was somewhere from a rooftop, so they were looking Sata, overlooking people. You could see how people were listening to Sata. You could put yourself in that picture. There was a sense that people loved Sata. They had this passion for him. They wanted him like today. This is the power that now you PF, you have the chance to rise today. You have to go back to the people. You have to go back to Mandevu. You have to go back to Chawama. Kuna mai kala te kumwesu. Ela tawa vota kuno. Atawa ku Chawama, bala vota. Aba ku Mandevu, bala vota. These are our people. I know that God gave you the grace to take over, to make government. And it was a blessing for you. And we are so thankful that you did a good job. Balungu le sare mpala. Abanta batasha. Balare ranga wafwa. But we tasha you when you are still alive. Le sampe omweo. Le sampe ramaka. Yours is an everlasting blessing. And I speak with genuineness. I'm not a PF. I'm a servant of God. See our one who has replaced Chief Joshua. But it's a special blessing I've taken over. I don't give excuse for it. But I want to honor you for everything you did as a president and also as a PF administration. It's true also you made some mistake. We have to agree and understand that we are human beings. When you are in leadership, there are things that you do, obviously, that will be out of place. Mwamona, last year, Mwari Srepano, Mwarombo Rusa Kubanda. Naam, Pepa Mwewan, Tumunje Leleko. I think we need to go back and apologize more. The whole PF leadership, go back to the people. Go and ask for forgiveness. Start all over again. It ties the people. Your enemy is not UPND. Your enemy is not any structure there. The people of concern are the people that are always working. Those in the compound, those at markets, those on the streets. Go back and tell them we are sorry. You know, I went to... Some of, not TB Joshua, I'm already TB Joshua. <laughs> I went to check with the people to find out. And I know you have seen, I said, what did the PF do? And 
And people are telling me, and they don't know me. They just spoke honest. I said, my father, we love the PF. These are our people. They did great things. But we noticed at some point, God is our party. Now, this is honest truth, and I speak in public. I don't like, you know, speaking in Eden. No, 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 no. We put it so that it will help you to start afresh. Your mandate, you can get it back from the people. But in God, my father, we have did a lot of good things. But also, to Anisamona, I want to you, of your arm, you know, but because of us and Musonko, and some cadres, they will come also and take the second Musonko. And there will be a third cadre who takes another Mkonto at 15 hours. By the time people knock off, they have nothing in their pockets. We know people who have taken plots in the name of Kadash. And they sell the same plot to three different people. You know these stories very well. And it's so painful that innocent people lose their resources, lose their money because of those who don't work hard. And yet there are youths who are innovative, youths who are hardworking, youths who are interested in the development of the nation. Supporting their own family. All these powdery, mascara, medicine, whatever they call them, they are small businesses, but they are trying to feed their families. The last thing you want to have is somebody to disturb those small entrepreneurs, those small families who are just growing and developing. Today, now, you have a chance to go back and say, we can start all over again with you. We want to change our way so that we can be the good party. And you are a good opposition party. People still love you. Do you know that? Do you know that people still love you? Do you know that? Iwe. Mwari fwa gaishita mulanda. Yelanda la iwe. Do you know that people still love you? People still love you. Elele, no. I know that you are doing this uh, a PF selection for leadership. Put also the youth on that list. Let them also compete for the highest office. If it's a grand activity, Kula Mpanga, Mpanga, Sheko Kutari, Shishire Kwemi, Tilasho Shibo Mbeko. We need to have also the youth to rise and take up. Fresh blood, fresh beginning. If you are going to buy leadership, it shall not come to pass in the name of Jesus. We have seen money doesn't work. You can't corrupt people. Zambians are now intelligent. They are informed. They know what is right and wrong. If you are going to go there and say, I've got money, I've got this, I'm going to buy your vote. Welu, welu. Shangala wake up Friday. You go nowhere. Ours is to be honest and work with the people. You have now a new government in the name of UPND. You have an obligation to provide a formidable opposition, a formidable checks and balances, because you are the only certified opposition party. You are the only one who has the structures on the ground to speak for the people who are suffering. You and nobody else. You have the mandate to rise up and say, UPND, we don't have to wait for you to fail. Firamulanda, re, tukamonanga wafirwa. Wafirwa? As you are waiting for wafirwa, your uncle is dying in Kaputa. Your nephew has no shoes. Yours is to demand that things must start happening now. We fight on the trenches, the streets, the market. Put on those boots. And get ready because the battle will be fierce. But be fair. If they do well, honor them. If they fail, give them that chip. We need to move in a place where we put up a national framework to professionalize the public sector. We are tired of this cadre development. Every time a new government comes, they want to put in their people. 
How about those people who are innocent? Those hardworking people. You know, I work in the office. I feel people's pain who have been fired for no reason, except that I don't speak your language, except that I don't have your place. It must come to an end in the name of Jesus. And we forget that what we do today, Koele, the wise man, said there's nothing new under the sun. What is, was, what will be has already happened. What can you tell us? You and government appear. You know what it is. Preach on father. Preach on God deeper. The only prophet in the world. We have to understand when Kaunda came out of government, what happened? She was all over the place. Oh, black man, my black man, my black man. How did Rashkulu Kaunda become a black man? But you are off my Now <laughs> Alupia, Abandama. Now, tell you, Shimoshi. Hey, who you, Panji Panji? Now, only be off my boat, by Savesu. Hey, Lupia, Lupia, Pulani Pansi, Padinama, Papa, and you go. You are talking all those things. Now, only be off my boat. I say, no, Sata. You, from PF, and I know this because I'm an internal security system. I know how you are criticizing Sata. You, PF, when you took over, if you had continued to be the government, you would be going in debt. I know these things. So every time there's a new government, somehow you want to find fault with the ones who have gone. In Kenya, recently, there had a change of government. And the new people who came, the first thing, after that being thrown in, the second man in command said, hey, the government is broke. There is no money. Trying to make the previous government look stupid. So the governor came and said, my friend, don't alarm the nation. We have money in the bank. How can you say that we have no cash? But it was to make people hate the previous government. We forget. These are part of our foundation. How dare you fight those who have gone before you? Because you know God builds on. We are all enemies as Africans. You we are poor. Why are we poor? Whites. I am with. Shan We are the ones who are destroying ourselves. When you are divided, you can't start. Look at the white people, the ones are protecting Ukraine. They can't allow their own to suffer while they are watching. Who know? We are the ones who are selling our own people during slave trade. You, Malaysia, and And you are still selling them now. We have people here, a cabinet fire. They have been acting. Why are they acting? Good people. Sorry, men. Why are they not being appointed in those positions? And I'm opening this dialogue. If we don't do the right things, we'll be judged by God. Yeah. God will never go forward. It is time to honor all Zambians. If there's a Zambian who is qualified, there's a Zambian who is hardworking, there's a Zambian who has proved that he's a very expert party, give him the job. Why is that man waiting at the cabinet office? Till now, someone must answer that question. You journalist. You must come up, that's your work, to question when you see things are not working. To come up and say, we can see this doesn't make sense. Because you are Zambians, you are citizens. Yours is to help in the development of the nation. Now we have this, oh, the BF, we are the ones going down yourself. Because when we don't work together, we all lose at the same time. Balungu. 
Kaunda Ali mtuwa kuyu ni desktop Zambia Mwa ya Zambia Mwa chitefi ya gulo ya And we are proud of you God has given you a good family A good career You have also become a president Very good Blessed life Kwa isa wa Na lomu nenu His excellence Is what he is. Akaime. Akaime. You know when I'm sitting at night, I hear these kids they are singing. I don't know where they get this. Akaime. Akaime. So they are singing in the night because the kids they just love joy. I don't know what that means. But he too was sent by Kaunda to go and study. And was that? As economist. He too has a good family. And he too has a good career. And today, he is the sitting president. You are the only two people who belong to an exclusive club called the presidential club. No one has been to that club. As I'm looking at you, I'm asking, why? You have never sat together to talk as brothers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, you know, I don't like this. Hey, you say this. Hey, church, you say this. We have prayed. I see a one. I have fasted. I still be Joshua. I'm right away. What do you want me to do, Mr. Lungu? What will make the two of you sit and talk? Because you must understand that you set the tone of the nation. Amen. You and your brother that side, this fight, whatever you call it, must come to an end. And I speak now as a man who is representing God. Is someone who understands why these people don't do question? Why these two people can sit together? And you must perhaps give us the solution because me, I don't know. I've tried my best. Do you know how these two people can sit together? Because we're going to place a call very soon to my church. I have the number here. We are going to call them, and these two people are going to talk in our presence now. But I'm the in the open. What is the problem? But before they do that, why these two people can sit? Do you have any idea how these people can sit together too? I don't know if you to understand. I think presidents have already been set. Our president, our leaf, our leaf, our leaf, our leaf, I think that's the path they've taken. But like you have said, uh, they have a chance to change the narrative. Yeah. And that's what they're supposed to do. And like you have said, why watch the challenge? Why do I kill the now? And I think he's the one that will set the tone from today. And if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. 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 The fact that Bari Kumene Bukuni, my former president, Marupia Bani, Nabani Pusha, Nabani Seka, I think they can still do it again because. They are the two now. Barupi and They can now sit together. This is why So there is hope. There is hope as we have heard from this year. I don't know what your emotions and your temperature are. As a man of God, I speak on behalf of God. And I know it's difficult as human beings to come to that place. But you two people must sit. We understand Zambia is in a hurry. We can't wait anymore. We have this Zambia to develop. The dream must come to pass in the name of Jesus. We must prosper. We must increase. We must change. And if you are going to honor Sata, your leader, these are the things that you have to do now. Once we are dead, we can't do those things. Once we are in the graveyard, there is no more power. When you are alive, it's the time to speak. Ask the children of Israel. They'll tell you in Psalms 115 verse 4, they say, We call upon God 
Because we know our God is a living Father. All our internet, let's start to ask up for that. We request our entourage to seek her. Let's start to ask her. We request her. They knew their God is a living God. They knew their God answers prayers. They knew their God can make them move beyond their confines into the next level of engagement. We are praying for you, Your Excellence. Abe shukrube nuko ya kunu mamarefa ichi kuna chene. Guide their process because the success of the new leader will make a big difference going forward. If you don't do right, you will lose the goodwill that is there. And we have given you the mandate as opposition. It's a blessed place. You are not in sin. You are not in offense with God. You are participating and growing the nation Zambia, which you now have a big responsibility to give us a new leader in this opposition. You are the state man. I know people have said all kinds of things. Ignore it. I've declared you are a state man. This is your position. I don't care who says what and do what. You are a state man. And we have only two present. Former and present. The two of you are now completely helping this nation to go forward. I look forward that today shall be a day we say the dream of Zambia becoming great has started in the name of Jesus. And as we honor this man, Sata, may be a seed of change, a seed of inspiration, a seed of life, a seed of total commitment to the new Zambia we believe in, in the mighty name of Jesus we are prayed. Amen. And... So we rise up to present our petitions before our Heavenly Father. Those who have prepared petitions, please come forward and pray for our family and group to honor the gift of life and joy. We pray for all the members of PF who have come to celebrate the life of the late Michael Chimfiasata, to be humble, united, and resolved in the way that we take the party forward, going by the, the advice that we have been given. We pray for all the people who are not able to be with us today to also have it in the back of their minds that when we commemorate the life of the late Michael Chimfiasata, we have them in mind that they too will serve their purpose according to God. Lord, hear us. We pray for the family to stay loving and united, covered by God Jesus. And we ask that they embody the Spirit as they great in their unity and love for them. Lord, hear us. We pray that all politicians in this country realize there is only one Zambia only one country for all of us. We pray that those in power exercise their powers correctly. Stop witch hunting. And we pray that those in opposition stay strong in according to way, the way the priest has preached today. Lord, hear us. Heavenly Father, we bring all these prayers before you. We ask you to be present to them. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Can we sit down?